boosted social security checks for millions will be arriving this week. Take a look. Incoming cash. COLA Social Security 2023 increase updates. Boosted checks from $1,827 to $4,555 dropped this week. See the full schedule. I'm going to share this with you just coming out less than an hour ago today. Now, in addition to that, I've let you know 2023, there's going to be a lot taking place with Social Security. Look, a battle over Social Security is coming in 2023, and some retirees are gearing up for the fight. As we're hearing, this is going to come to the forefront front in the new Congress. They have got to make changes to Social Security. Articles coming out like this, we will regret our missed opportunities to reform Social Security. They have got to do this. We are running out of time. I've let you guys know that due to these massive COLA increases, they're saying it's going to be depleting the Social Security funds faster than anticipated. The insolvency is going to be hitting sooner than expected. Changes need to be made. And they're saying they're going to get this done so that way those recipients of Social Security uh, they won't run out of money. Now, one of the proposals on the table people are waiting for is the Social Security Expansion Act, introduced by Bernie Sanders several years ago, but actually just reintroduced in June. And we're hearing that this is one of the bills that will be coming back to the forefront again in 2023. Now, we will see. I will keep you up to date. There are several proposals on the table, but this one suggests we increase the benefits by $2,400 per year, which will enhance recipients' payments by $200 per month extend the solvency, change the taxation so that way we can fund it more so, and also reform the calculations of COLA from CPIW to CPIE. Those are just some of the suggestions to change the Social Security system. But you guys, let's dive into the latest of checks arriving right now and also stick around to the end because I also let you know that even though Social Security is increasing, there are other benefits that will be decreasing that they're saying will offset the increases, which is very unfortunate for recipients for more information on that stick around to the end but let's go ahead and dive right in before we do do me a quick favor if you appreciate the updates hit the like button for me just takes a second helps out the channel a ton thank you so much and if you want to stay up to date it's totally free why not hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell i'll let you know about everything happening so you know what's available for you and your family but with that being said let's go ahead and dive right in all right so link in the description below to this article just came out less than an hour ago and as you guys know i cite all the sources put them on the screen and read right from them so you can see it for yourself and know that it is the latest. Now, this article says, Incoming cash, COLA, Social Security 2023 increase updates, boosted checks from $1,827 to $4,555 drops this week, and we're going to be covering the full schedule of arrivals for January. Now, the article says millions of Americans will get their first boosted Social Security check of 2023 this week. Now, the annual cost of living adjustment has increased to 8.7%. That is that COLA bump up that you're getting for this year. Now, hopefully it keeps up with inflation. Last year, we heard that every single month, the increase of 5.9%, I think it was, did not keep up with inflation. It exceeded it. So every single month, those receiving those Social Security payouts from the government, SSI, SSDI, they were falling short every single month. Now, on average, Social Security payments will get an increase by $140 per month to $1,827, with the maximum benefit rising to $4,555 per month. Now, payments go out on the second, third, and fourth Wednesday of the month, depending on the beneficiary's birthday. So the arrival times are remaining the same. There's nothing changing in the schedule. You'll still receive those payments on the regular schedule. Now, in this case, the first check reflecting the COLA increase will go out on Wednesday, January the 11th. So in two days, those of you collecting Social Security, you should see this first check arriving. Now, the rest of the payments sent out this month will come on January 18th or January 25th. And just so there's no confusion, that is for those collecting those retirement Social Security checks. SSI, you should have already gotten your January check on December 30th. Due to the scheduling, the, uh, the New Year's and the weekend, it should have arrived early for you. And also, those of you on SSDI, you should be getting these boosts as well. So, is this going to be enough? We're hearing that a lot of people are saying no. And also, I've been letting you know that they're saying we're going to be running out of benefits very soon. And the fight is going to be on in Congress in 2023 to make some significant changes. And I've let you know that they have got to reform the entire system. And they're saying this is going to come to the forefront. This 
and child tax credits, they're saying, are not gone by any means. There needs to be modifications to help people out. And with the recession looming that we're hearing for 2023, they're saying there's going to need to be some form of help going out to help out those most in need, especially our seniors, those receiving fixed income benefits from the government. There needs to be increases. Now, take a look at this article. Link in the description below, as always. Why the Social Security battle will be intense in 2023. It says one thing that's clear is that year by year, it becomes much more difficult and expensive to fix Social Security, said Representative John Larson, a Connecticut Democrat and chairman of the House and Ways Means Committee's Social Security Subcommittee. He told Market Watch, this is one of the most critical programs in the country and nobody holds Congress accountable for not voting on it, he said. Larson said that next year, he plans to continue to push for the Social Security 2100 Act, which is another bill that is currently on the table for consideration to reform Social Security. This one aims to strengthen the trust fund by applying the payroll tax currently not collected on wages above $147,000 to wages over $400,000, while also boosting benefits an average of 2% among other measures. Now, also just to clarify that $147,000 cap has increased to about 160,000 as well. Now, some top Republican lawmakers' recent comments linking Social Security issues with the debt ceiling debate have amplified concerns among retiree advocates. Speaking about opportunities to reform Social Security at a Washington Post event earlier this month, the second highest ranking Senate Republican, John Thune of South Dakota said, can the debt limit present that opportunity? I think it can, but we'll see. Asked in October if he intended to push for Social Security reform as a part of the debt ceiling debate, House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy, who is now the Speaker of the House, said that he wouldn't predetermine anything, according to Punchbowl News. Spokespeople for McCarthy and Thune did not respond to requests for comments. The Republican Study Committee, a group of more than 150 House Republicans, suggested in a fiscal 2023 budget document that Social Security's normal retirement age, the age when people are eligible for their full benefits, be gradually increased to reflect increases in longevity. Let me know your thoughts. Should they increase those retirement ages? We're hearing that the majority of people take it early at age 62, full retirement age 67, and that the longest you can wait is 70 to get the max amount of benefits. And they're saying we should increase those because people are living longer. And also we're running out of money. Another idea floated by Wisconsin Republican Senator Ron Johnson was to recategorize Social Security spending, currently considered a mandatory outlay by the federal government, as discretionary spending to be approved by Congress each and every year. Given that programs like Social Security and Medicare are considered mandatory spending, if you qualify for the entitlement, you just get it, no matter what the cost, Johnson said on the podcast. Mandatory spending, he added, is on automatic pilot. You don't do proper oversight. You don't get in there and fix the programs that are going bankrupt. A spokesperson for Johnson did not respond to a request for comments. So there's, so he's saying we need to scrutinize Social Security spending more to make sure it's efficient when we are in the debt situation that we currently are in. Another plan that raised alarm among retirement security advocates was put forward this year by Florida Republican Senator Rick Scott, who suggested that all federal legislation, which would include Social Security legislation, should sunset in five years. If a law is worth keeping, Congress can pass it again. So he's saying that we should put a term on this and then reform it. So another five years. Asked about the potential impact on retirement security, a spokesperson for Scott shared an audio clip of Scott speaking in mid-December saying, I have no interest in cutting. I will not cut Medicare benefits or Social Security benefits, Scott added. Close to 70% of our budget we don't even vote on anymore, which is wrong. We ought to make sure that these programs are preserved and that the way you make sure that these programs are preserved is you go through them every single year. So he's saying we should be scrutinizing it, making sure that it's done correctly and evaluating what is the correct amount of budget that should go towards these uh, and evaluate that on a regular basis. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But this is going to be coming to the forefront we're hearing in 2023. Reform is needed. Several proposals have hit. One of those of which I have let you guys know 
is the Social Security Expansion Act. This is by far one of the most popular ones, that and the 2100 Act that we just heard about. And this one, as I mentioned, will extend the solvency by an additional 75 years by changing the taxation. It will also recalculate COLA for CPIE instead of CPIW as it currently is, and also enhance the benefits so beneficiaries of any fixed incomes from Social Security will get an additional $2,400 or $200 per month. And this was one of the promises we had previously heard from Joe Biden in his campaign when he was running in 2020. Now we will see, but one thing is for certain, they have got to make changes to Social Security and they got to do it soon. So congratulations to those of you that are going to be receiving these boosted payments coming out this week on Wednesday and those of you receiving them in the following weeks, congratulations. But also, I let you guys know that there will be decreases potentially for a lot of people in other benefits as a result of this COLA increase, and that is going to be the SNAP and EBT payments. Those could be declining, and also the pandemic EBT payments and the SNAP emergency allotments will be going away. Next month will be the last month for those arriving, and if you want more details on that, be sure to check out this video right here as I cover it and let you know everything taking place. Check out this video next. If you haven't already, smash the like button, subscribe. Thank you guys for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.